A federal judge has ordered the suspect in the apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump to remain behind bars until his trial. Prosecutors revealed the man left a handwritten letter months before the incident in which he wrote, quote, this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Manuel Bajorquez is in West Palm Beach, Florida. Manny, so good to see you. So what was the judge's reasoning for denying this suspect's bail? Well, Nancy, in this particular case, the judge said that there was enough evidence presented by the prosecution to basically persuade him that Ryan Ruth is a flight risk and could be a danger to the community based on his previous criminal record, but also based on what the prosecution was alleging that when he was discovered in that vehicle trying to get away from the Mar-a-Lago and Golf Club area, that they say they found six phones in his vehicle and a passport. And on one of those phones, they claim there was a Google search on how to get from Palm Beach County to Mexico. Another piece of evidence there is, according to prosecutors, uh, the scope on the rifle, they say, was partly put together and tied on with tape. And off of that tape, they say they were able to lift a fingerprint that comes back to Ruth. For those reasons, the judge decided that he would have to remain in custody until he is put on trial. Wow, such fascinating and also frightening details. Manny, we learned so much from prosecutors uh, today about this suspect. What are they revealing about him and his motivations? Well, you know, he's had so many writings, public writings out there, including a book in which he hinted at the assassination of the former president and really obsessed with this notion of defending Ukraine. Uh, what we learned from prosecutors is that they believe he came to the South Florida area back in August, uh, almost a month before this happened. And they have cell phone data, they say, that indicates that he may have been around the golf club and Mar-a-Lago for nearly a month. And then, as we've noted in previous reporting, that he was on that fence line there for nearly 12 hours. So they painted the picture of someone who seemed determined to try to carry this out. And in fact, they said that had that agent not spotted the gunman, regardless of who it was, that the president was maybe 12, former president, I should say, 12 to 15 minutes from coming to that sixth hole there and being right in the line of sight of the rifle. Unbelievable. So what are the next steps in this case? Well, as you know, the only charges right now against this suspect, Ryan Ruth, are federal gun charges for possessing a firearm as a convicted felon. What we learned today in court is that prosecutors will also seek to get a grand jury to indict him on an other heavier charge, really, which is the attempted assassination of a political figure. The gun charges carry a maximum combined of about 20 years in prison. The attempted assassination on a political figure, if the grand jury decides to go that route, will the maximum sentence there is life in prison. And as far as we know, so far, is he cooperating? The defense made a big point out of that. They said, look, this is a guy who's mild-mannered. He hasn't had any outbursts in court, uh, and he cooperated with authorities, but only once they had reached him in that vehicle, as they say, that he was attempting to flee. And they noted mm. that even though he has a criminal history, that nowhere in there is there an indication of violence or resisting arrest with law enforcement. But again, the judge said, look, the weight of these charges and of the evidence, I just am not willing to let him out on bond. Not surprising. Manuel Bohorkas, thank you so much for all those details. Appreciate it.